Hi guys, this is Angel from PRTV Entertainment. On this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to work with a HUD, a widget HUD, how to work with functions, and also with variables. Now, this is going to be really important because from now on, after this tutorial, you guys need to work with functions and variables for other things that we need to do, like for the weapons, how to add the projectiles, and how to add different functions so we can drop, it can go straight, uh, it can hit the object. So there's a lot of things, so you need to learn how to work with those. So first, I'm going to create a folder. It's going to be my huts. Now in this tutorial, let me create the widgets first. This tutorial is going to be easy. It's not going to be complicated. So I'm going to create another widget, and this one is going to be uh, mm -hmm. uh, variable test hut. Yeah, okay, variable test hut. Okay. So I'm going to open the gaming hut, and like I explained on the previous tutorials for dummy lessons. From here, you will, be, uh, you will show everything on the viewport, every object that you put in here on this widget. So on the left panel that you have here, all of these are objects that you can use for your widget. So I'm gonna use a text block, a text block here, and I'm gonna put here my primary, primary gaming, interface so I'm going to put this on the top I'm going to scale it just a little and center this I'm going to put it on the top and I'm going to use an anchor to put it right on the middle top there and for here I'm not going to do nothing else so I'm just going to compile it and save it now I'm going to the variable test HUD now in this one we're going to do two text blocks I'm going to put the first one it's going to be on the bottom and this one's going to be uh, uh, variable showing variable uh, showing how I'm just put let's put it like that showing how variables work so I'm going to scale this I'm going to scale it really wide I'm going to put Increase the size of the font. So I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to center this, and I'm going to choose another anchor for this one. I'm going to put it on the middle bottom here, and now I'm going to add another text block, and I'm going to put it right on the middle. So I'm just going to put it to the size here, to the side. I'm going to center this one. And also I'm going to use an anchor to put it on the center. The only difference is that in this one I'm not going to leave no text on it. Now for the name I'm going to put here variable labels. So now that we have our variable HUD already uh, well the way that we want to use it that we want to use it right now. So I'm just going to compile it and save it and from here I'm gonna add a variable and this one's gonna be on my character now the idea of what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna use an overlap an event overlap so every time the character overlaps with another object that makes collision it will tell on the viewport that you are overlapping with another object so let's do that it's gonna be something easy so I'm going to add a variable here and it's going to be a text this one's going to be uh, character variable one I could put it like that so I'm going to compile this so it can give me the default value in other words the options for this variable I'm going to put here you are over Overlapping with another object. There we go. So I'm going to compile. I'm going to save it. And now, what we are going to do first, we are going to go back to our variable hot widget. 
and from here we will click on the on, on the text block that we put on the middle on the middle and we're going to bind this creating a new function now in this one this function is going to be get character test variable uh, te uh, variable text let's put variable text it doesn't matter really this is just a name given to the variable so you know you can have an idea of what it is so you don't get lost if you have a hundred functions so from here we are inside the function so we just uh, we're just adding you know a function to the variable HUD widget so we don't have to do it over here on the uh, event graph so we'll just do it right here and we're going to cast to third person character that is the character that we are using that is this one right here our character blueprint now I'm gonna type get player character so with so from here on this thing that says cast to third person character it's like you are connecting to that character just to get any info that you need from it oh another thing that I forgot is every time you create a variable if you're going to use it to pull it out to use the information uh, to another place or another part of the project like we're going to do right now you need to put this on public so every time you call that variable you can get the info okay so now we have connected to our character in other ways so now we're going to pull that variable by typing get get uh, what's the variable name oh my god <laughs> character variable one okay so we're going to type get character variable one in here we have our variable so anything that 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 it has for a value uh that variable he will put it right here and after that we have to link it right here so he can pass it right here and show it where we want to that is going to be on this text block because we have binded with that function so from here we are good so I'm just gonna see that everything is going as it's supposed to graph okay everything's good so I'm just gonna compile I'm gonna save it now and I'm gonna close the variable test hut because I don't think we're gonna use it anymore and now we need to call uh, the functions the events that we need to put that hut on the viewport both of them the first one that we made uh, that it will say just my primary gaming interface and the second one that it will show the variable that we have right here on our character that is supposed to show in the middle you are overlapping with another object that is uh, that is what he's supposed to show so I'm gonna create another function but this one's gonna be on the character and I'm gonna put here uh, okay create HUD so I'm gonna put here create widget get player controller so right here we're just adding our widget to our viewport and we're gonna choose our gaming widget from here I'm going to type add to viewport bad time for saving once again uh, okay so now that we have our function I'm going to compile I'm going to save so I don't need to work there anymore now on the event begin begin play we're gonna add that function to open or to start running when the game starts so we're gonna put it right here 
let's put a play first. As you can see, as soon as the game starts, we get the first HUD, the primary HUD, uh, working. So now we need to make the second one. Now for the second one, let me see what we can do here. That we go. Okay, so we need to make an uh, to end the overlap. So we will start working with the overlap, like I said. So it has to be an event overlap. Event overlap. Now we're gonna create another widget. Create widget so we can add it to the viewport. Same thing. Get player controller. player controller. Now this one it has to be the variable test HUD that we created. And from here we're gonna add to viewport. And now uh, let me pull this up because I need more space here. Okay, so now I'm going to choose when, as soon as, as we end the overlap, as soon as you get off from whatever object or collision that you're making the overlap, it's going to hide this uh, variable test HUD, this widget is going to be hidden. So for that, I'm just going to remove it from parent. And from here, I'm going to enter another event, but this one's going to be event and overlap there we go and I'm going to link this one with this one so let's put here comment box add variable test hud to view port and hide when in overlap. There we go. And this one's gonna be add gaming hud to viewport at begin play. There we go. Ah, I'm kinda tired. It's kinda late. Okay, so now that we have this already here, it's supposed uh, to work. Everything is supposed to work here. So we have the variable, we have everything else. We have also the variable test HUD. Uh, we have the functions set up over there. So right now, as soon as we make a collision with something with the object, it's supposed to tell us that we are making the collision with another object. So we don't have an object, so let's create one really quick. And I'm gonna create a blueprint, and that's gonna be an actor. I'm just gonna put here item collision. Item, item collision. Why, why is this? Okay, item. Oh, I got my caps on. Item collision, there we go. So now, let's double click on this one. I'm going to add a component. It's going to be collision. But it's going to be a sphere. So I'm going to put the collision. Now we're going to add a mesh. It's going to be a static. And now, for the mesh, I'm going to choose the sphere. Uh, shape. So I'm going to scale this down because it's too big. Pull this down. And I'm going to add a text. And also I'm going to add a rotation. Rotating movement. So I'm going to change the name. Sphere Rotation. And the rotation will start rotating the sphere so it will look a little bit nice so <clears throat> let me compile let me save let me close now I'm gonna add this to the port here to our scene and I think that's high enough so as soon as we make collision with this 
is supposed to tell us on the screen that we are overlapping with another object. So let's try it out. There we go. So as soon as you get near to it, when it starts making the collision, the overlap, it tells you that you are making the overlap, as you can see. You are overlapping with another object, showing how variables work. So now we know that we the first HUD is being already loaded as soon as the game starts, and the second HUD loads up every time it makes collision because that is the event that we choose when it makes an overlap. So if you need to change the text, uh, the, the results, the value that has, this, that has that variable, you can put something else from here so you don't need to do nothing else over there. So let's just put overlapping with object. Compile, let's save it one more time. Let's play it. Here we go again. Overlapping with object. Now, with different things, if you you can get some ideas, you can add like different things. Maybe you can do it with items that you have. Uh, different items, you can add different variables and you can tell them that maybe this is an apple, this is a can, this is a gun, this is a hat, and every time you can put you know different names to whatever items you have and every time that it gets near it, it could say uh, press uh, E or press F to pick up hat or press E to pick up gun or press E to pick up ammo or whatever you want to insert on your project so this is the simple way how the variables work so just remember always that if you are going to create variables that you're going to call them on another part of the engine for of your project, always need to put them on public. You cannot set them on private. So I think this is all for this tutorial about the HUD and the variables. I already made a functions tutorial. That's a dummy lesson. So. I think we're getting pretty soon to start working with inventories and adding items to those inventories. So I think the next tutorial will be about the items, how you can add it to your screen. Every time you get over an item, it can tell you press uh, this key to, to pick up the item and when you do pick up the item, maybe we can you know make different variables and and set up so we can add it to your screen like a little box so we need to create structures uh, on the Unreal Engine so we can create the inventory and a lot of stuff so it's, it's gonna be a little bit complicated but I'll try to make it as easy as I can for you guys this is Angel from PRDB I uh, hope to see you guys next time on our next tutorial don't forget to like don't forget to comment and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe that's important bye bye